Okay guys, I have figured out how to make keto carnivore hummus. I kid you not, this tastes like the real thing. And I am a hummus snob, okay? I prefer the actual real hummus from the little family Greek or Lebanese restaurant that you find in the little corner of a shopping center. That's the real hummus. So that is the standard by which I make hummus. So I came across a kind of crazy idea. Chicken, it's neutral. So give it a try. Put two cups of chicken. I use butcher box chicken breast in that. Guys, I don't measure stuff. I'm bad about that. Some salt, I would estimate that was probably a quarter teaspoon. Some tahini. Some tahini. And this is from Kroger Organic. I suppose if you do not want to eat the actual sesame seed, you could put sesame oil in. I haven't tried that yet because I'm kind of a purist, I use tahini, because that's what you use in real hummus. Um, Santa Cruz organic lemon juice. Real stuff, not the shit in the green bottle. It's full of chemical. No, no, just a dash of that, guys. Not much. Then I'll put half a cup of olive oil in. It sounds like a lot, but at the end of the day, guys, it needs that flavor and the texture. Then you put it in your handy dandy Nutribullet. And guys, you have hummus. Now you just need to try, make sure you put enough salt in. If the flavors aren't quite strong enough, people, this is the real deal. You know what, I'm a retard, hold tight. I forgot something major, okay? Garlic. Okay, you think it's the first time I've ever made hummus, right? Yeah. A little garlic. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Depending on whether you're going to kiss anybody later, you put whatever amount of garlic you want. Go for broke. Garlicky it up. All right, now let's do this right. Try it again. And you have hummus. And let me tell you, look at the texture of that. That is just like the real thing. 